Are you up for another grain to glass video? Today we're gonna brew with Luttra Quite from Omega Yeast. I brewed with this yeast before, but then I did like a simple beer, like a mock pilsner maybe. I can link down to that video so you can go watch that also. But I want to try something else, like a more malty lager. So we're gonna have a look at the brewing footage and of course some epic Swedish wildlife for you. And then we'll come back, taste the beer, run through the recipe. And yeah, this was a split batch. I'm gonna talk about that also. But, enough said, let's get started. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and homebrew. So if you want to learn with me how to become better at beer and brewing, possibly, consider becoming a subscriber. And yeah, hit that little bell to get notifications when I put out a new video. And smash the like button. And as usual, if you're just here to troll, don't forget to smash the dislike button twice for double the impact and also if you want to support the channel get some epic behind the scenes content and more a patron channel membership or just buy me a beer all links down below let's start off with the brew footage and then we we'll come back and taste the beer
that was the uh, the brew day. Let's pour the, uh, the beer. As you saw, this was a no chill. This was chilling in the fermenters. I fermented this one in a, a keg, and I'm pouring from that keg now. And the other version of this, which was fermented with BF16, I fermented in the keg mentor. This has been sitting in the keg for about four weeks since fermentation was over that is so this is starting to clear up i haven't added any findings other than some findings in the boil but no like gelatin or anything were added it is quite clear it's almost like cleared up by now it's not as dark as you see it you can see a little better representation of the, uh, the beer it's a beautiful looking beer We get like bread in Sweden. We have some we call knäckebröd. This hard bread has some of those like bready notes. Also some caramel notes there. There were quite a lot of specialty malt in this one. We're gonna run through the recipe, but the recipe is already uploaded in the Dr. Hans recipe book for my patrons to dig into, both in PDF and beer XML. Yeah, cheers. It's super clean. This ended up like 3.9% ABV. Didn't ferment out super low. Gonna run through the, the numbers, but it's not sweet. It could though, if I should complain about something, be a little less bitter maybe. But it's, it's uh, I'm, I'm being picky now. Really good beer and I'm guessing it would be awesome to some some food where sometimes if you have like fatty food you can really use that bitterness as you might have seen in the brewing footage I, I, I was a little hot not for like the the quark, but for the bf16 I, I didn't want it to get too cold so I actually let them chill down in the house and uh, yeah the the keg being smaller the, the keg cooled off quite nicely but the big kegmenter was really hot when the bf16 got in there so it was like 20, almost 28 degrees when I pitched the yeast. So we're going to have an interesting experiment trying that out. I won't try out the BF16 in this video. We're going to do a separate video about that. So in this video now we're going to run through the recipe if you guys want to brew it. And we can do a versus video because the Luttra is one of the cleanest ale yeast. And the uh, BF16 is one of the cleanest lager yeast I've ever tried. So I want to go like head to head. Let's run through the recipe. I scale this down back to 18 liters for the for the Luttra. 18 liter batch. I used Munich malt, Brewmaster Munich malt, 1.65 kilos, 1.5 kilos Pilsner malt. That was also Brewmaster. Not sponsored, but Brewmaster, if you're watching, yeah, you should you should give me a, a call or something. I used 300 grams of Carahel, that's 8%, and 300 grams of wheat malt, also 8%. For hops, I used just pitching hops, I used 11.6 grams of Magnum, and I added 20 minutes to the calculation, because this was a no-shill, and that's my like normal routine. Should give us about 27 IBUs, and... Uh, Maybe I should have added a little bit less, actually. No, I'm just complaining. It's, 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 it's fine. Sorry. This was fermented under pressure. I set the temperature to 25 Celsius and I think started at 20 PSI. After like three days, I um, upped the temperature to 28 and, and let it dry it out. And uh, actually put some gas on this afterwards. Yes, because I didn't crank it for some reason. The OG was 1045 and the FG was 1015. So it ended up quite high. But it's still it's still not sweet. So ended up with a high FG. It's not super high. We do have quite a lot of caramel malt in this, like 8%. So maybe that's it. I did a step mash just because I 
can actually. So I did 63 Celsius for 30 minutes, then I did 71 Celsius for 30 minutes, and then I did a mash out at 76 for 10 minutes. So it's probably not the mash schedule that made it end up at 10.15. It's slightly more has to do with the caramel malt. If you have any questions during like the steps I did on the, the brew day, feel free to comment down below. If you are not already a subscriber, please help out by being a subscriber. I know I bitch about this, but the bigger the channel gets, the more stupid things I can do, so you don't have to. So please subscribe and hit the like button on this video. And if you didn't like this video at all, try to have a few beers before you watch my videos. That's the best tip I can give you. And of course, have Patreon channel members or just buy me a beer or links down below. There's even a merch store somewhere there. Guys, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Dog Tons out.